Transition to Gombe, where the state government has given an account of its financial stewardship for the 2022 fiscal year. It is an established practice for the Noahiaia administration to report to the public its performance and involve them in the preparation of each budget cycle. Correspondent Larry Adeyemi has the details. The mindset is that the government is there to serve the people. The resulting culture is that every money spent must be accounted for and reported to the public. This citizen accountability report is taking place in the three central zones of Gombe State. Civil society and community leaders are grilling government officials about key projects and budget performance. We are able to provide their feedback on what they expect the government to do for them in the just population financial They're giving you a little bit of account of what projects you requested in the budget and how well money was spent on this project. But at best, they can only tell you what has gone out of the government and what came in. But what is on the ground? That is a question we are always interested in asking. Ahead of the 2024 budget, members of civil society are also demanding key areas that government should prioritize. They also want social welfare interventions to be given additional allocation. In the workability of this uh, act that has been passed, I'm sure we will have a long way to go in having progress in our community and sanity. We have seen that uh, uh, based on what they presented, the budget release and the budget performance uh, is around 97%, which is a very remarkable achievement by the government. In the last five budget cycles of the Inwayaya administration, it has been an established tradition to get the buy-in of the public both in planning and execution. The civil society insists that this is the foundation of transparency in governance. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.